Setting sail. We've done really well with Paladin. Still suspect, although Warland's interesting. Ambassador says they're gonna quit arena finding a guy who drafted double sneeds drafted, huh? Tar Creeper, although recurring villain could be a little interesting. Don't really like Alley Armor Smith. Let's say Cable Rat. Righteous Defense, I told you I lost this card huge on my abyssal. And even if it's not the on something that big, it's still an incredibly impressive card, so happy to get that righteous defense card. I've said it before, but, but I think Bannerman is not as good as people think it is. I'll still take it over City Architect. Eggnapper's pretty good. There's a deep run. Could be a Sneeds. These are not good. I'll actually take Fallen Sun Cleric, but you could take the 4 mana 4 4 too. Lightbringer's Hammer's pretty good. Scribe is good. Leaper of Justice is very good, although we could discover Lich King off I know a guy. Again, like I said, I think, uh... Logic says win rate is ridiculous on Bannerman. I, it, it, uh... Yeah, I, I don't think it reflects my personal experience, but I could believe it for the overall meta. I said 7th or 8th best in the entire arena. Uh... I don't understand it then, because... We've just beat so, so, so many double Bannerman uh, opponents, and I've had so many four-win runs with double Bannerman. Task. Okay, Stone Old Defender could get the Lich King. Man, the cannons is really strong. I love Argent Protector, though. Hmm. I probably have to take Man the Cannons, but... Every spell we take makes our two Bannermen weaker. I kind of wish the man in the cans was up against worse minions, because that would be an easy pick. Uh, I think I have to take the cannons. I think it's just too good, but... Stuff. Big Game Iron can kill Sneeds. <laughs> it's up against two pretty terrible cards. Molten Blade's interesting, but it's not good. Dawn Crusader, good with Bannerman. Freebooter's just excellent in general. Um, I don't have Librams on it. Well, no, sorry, I do have a Libram of Justice, actually. Even if I didn't have Librams, just a 1-mana one 1-3 one is nice. I'd rather have it than the Tide Hire of the Tiller. This card's terrible. This card's pretty bad. I guess I will take a Sleepy. There's another taunt. I'm going to take it over revenge, especially because, like I said, we got double bannermen. We want minions more in spells. Lion Guard is okay. Mastodon gets eaten by Glutton. Let's take that speaker. Another man the cannon? See, I want minions, but. <laughs> man the cannon's too good. War Strainer's good. Pack Mule can be especially good with bannermen, because, you know, you like draw two of these and you buff both. I guess I'll take Pack Mule with double bannermen, but. Normally, I'd take the 3 mana 3 4 here over the 2 mana 2 3, I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'd take back Mule anyway. Cookie is okay in this deck. We don't really have 4s. We used to have 2s and 3s. <laughs> Never surrender. Oof. Ah, boo. These are bad. You see, the deck's looking really strong. Yeah, I wish we were getting a couple better picks here at the end. Um. Hmm. Thank you to Monsieur with the 34 months of sub, which Monsieur claims is 2 times 17. I guess that's true. 15 and 15 is 30, and then 2 from the 17, and another 2 is 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It checks out. Checks out. I'm bad at math, but I don't even need to send it to the boys upstairs. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Monsieur, for the ongoing support. It is not a true weekend that we've seen Monsieur. If you, were, if you were looking for us yesterday, Monsieur, I apologize, you know, you may have seen or heard or something, but yeah, we did this super, super long 17-hour stream, so I was actually here in European hours, but I don't think we got a chance to catch you. But yeah, always happy to see you, appreciate the support, much safer here with your support. I guess I'm gonna take Anomaly. Can't take this red mana world.
Am I gonna go triple bannerman? Like I said, I've seen things like this fail. But when you're presented with the opportunity, how can you say no? Viper Fishman. Just step all night waiting for the stream, but wait with a smiley face. Hopefully that's not true. I put a note on the stream title, which was, you know, we streamed for 17 hours. No more stream, back tomorrow. Uh, Tuscar Fisherman can make the man the cans a lot better, so I'm gonna take that over the Viper. Ooh, tough pick. Grab for Death Knight Rexar is the only pick here. I know, I know, I'm thinking about it, but we failed to get a Death Knight dozens of times. I This deck is just gonna get so many more wins with Bone Mare, you would think. And, and, we just had two decks where I picked fun stuff over good stuff. Then again, you know, Grime Street getting Bannerman, it could become a 2-mana 3-3, three, three, which is a lot better than a 2-mana 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Kanks says go for the Bone Mare. Nice, this could be a 2-mana 4-4. Four, four. You know, I says, you've changed, Dave, you used to be cool. I never was cool. Uh, I don't know, I should take Bone Mare. Grave Digger's kind of cool. It's a minion with a minion inside, which is good for Bannerman. Maybe I should just take War Axe. I'm gonna go Grave Digger. All right. Well, I might regret that Grime Street. I might regret that Grime Street. Well, it's always Bone Mare. Bone Mare is better for the deck. But, man, I would love to discover one Death Knight before the end of the meta. See, I queued. It says I wasn't connected to the internet, so I quit and came back with 0-1. Really? I have not had a bug like that in a long, long time. Huh. Now you're sailing on my seas. Of course, the deck looks great. Less than triple Batman. Didn't try any of them ever. <laughs> and well, like I've said, I've seen a lot of opponents do double and triple Bannerman and lose. I've done quite a few of them and also lost. Uh, hopefully, history won't repeat itself. That scrap. Is it Death Knights or Class Guards? Maybe thinking Lich King. Wait, who is? Wait, who is? Oh, yeah, random here. So, how does Grimes should get a Death Knight? Death Knight's neutral. But no, it, it is indeed a cla Class Guard. Indeed. Like people are saying. This one goes there. Mm, might get an interesting flip. Uh, I read Jensen's message. We were thanking Monsieur for the 34 months of sub. And yeah, Stoner, I met Miss. Good luck save, it works. I'll see if you're still streaming. I get home in 67 hours. So yeah, Stoner probably doesn't uh, hear me, but I do acknowledge the message. Acknowledge receipt of message. What does that mean? It means I heard you. Make an even larger tar creeper. This one goes there. Yeah, I'll ask when does dual class end? Dice is Tuesday. Although, uh, like I mentioned, it may actually be Wednesday morning from a US perspective. Uh, because they specifically put, and here I'll, I'll copy paste it in chat. Um. They put this in the patch notes. It says, The legendary question will no longer be available starting November 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, which is, yeah, the, the morning of Wednesday after Tuesday. So I wonder if things will still be active and still that, until then. But we'll see. I, I don't think there's any official confirmation of the exact time dual class ends. Okay. 
Rick says, was doing the electric tower event in Genshin. Fisher makes it a lot easier. Hmm, Fisher, yeah. Um... I, 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 I did not understand how that event worked the first time I ran it. I actually, for maybe the first time ever, did briefly look up somebody's YouTube video. Like, oh, you have to keep them all three going. I, I misread it. I was focusing on one at a time because enemies were attacking one at a time. And I lost terribly, of course. And I was like, why? What? How? I've never lost an event. How is this possible? <laughs> Well, we got this 8 2 stealth, it can kill the tar. Skip the span, yeah. And and it's actually, you know, the, the, the drain is slow enough that I was just able to do it with Raiden uh, running around, but Fisher would probably have made it more relaxed. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Russia scamp kill our three two with spell damage. Business is booming. Darn. I was gonna say as long as you get straight in the war song, we're okay, but now I can still kill it, but I have to trade everything now. Ugh. Well We've most likely lost, just like the deck two runs ago was because we've run out of cards and the opponent still has five one of them's a pirate we will hold the black eh, that's a great flip though all right happy to see this very happy to see this Delicious. one of the best flips ever flip them right in range of the divine shield and just as quick we drifted back and got some really hot <laughs> Alright, we got enough mana for both of these. No Lich King. Boo. Burns. Um. And no Forge Fiend either. I'd take a Forge Fiend. <laughs> yeah, that, that type of message from John is the, the only... The only type of... Uh, what do you want to call it? Just <laughs> ribbing. <laughs> that they do on the channel Wooly Versus that I watch. That's their style. Their style of putting each other down is, you know... <laughs> Somebody's trying to do something in the game, and before they've actually done it, wasn't it so amazing when they did that? <laughs> and the person that's trying to shut up, shut up. Oh man, they pulled it off perfectly. Shut up. This comes in glitch sometimes. I can set forward in demon taunt, dude. Wait, demon? Oh, yeah, 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 the, the cleaving one. I was going to say, we just did it to a 410 taunt. <laughs> but it was the orc, not the demon. You talk about the warlock one. Right, right. So we already had on board, but we're out of cards. And they have four cards. Uh, what? Well, I'm not even going to hit the hero power button. Because if I hit the hero power button and they're trying to brawl me... My, you know, 1-1 one, one could win the brawl. I want one of these three to win the brawl. Do you have an audience with the king? Oh, well, they wanted me to put them below 15, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. It's very cute. It might win the game. Maybe I should have put them to 16. Well, I clear in hindsight, clearly I should have. Is that cute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I got dino size, though.
Uh, so do we want to dino size the ancient and go face for six? Oh, if Silk says ever use it on one one after nah, 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 I'm just gonna use the blow through this. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Super appreciate. Ooh, dear. Not too happy about that either. The Bannerman arrives just on time to buff a single minion. Maybe it's another Bannerman. No. Oh, wow! It actually is right on time. That's surprising. They're actually dead. They're dead. Wow. All right. <laughs> Great. He's right on time. <laughs> really, it's not too heavy. Got the beast in my sights. All right. Sweet. <laughs> He's never dealt the better one. Never late, nor is he early. Drives precisely when he means to. Got easy, David Nice. The, uh... Right, right, right. Oh, ah, well, okay, that's fine. <laughs> it was actually time for a break, but, uh... We can delay the break till the end of this game unless it goes all the way to fatigue. Mad with the first time chat. Glad to have you. Says the Bearman delivers. I need to get Bannerman Prime. I gotta get that. If I had guaranteed two draw delivery <laughs> with the power of Bannerman Prime, could have won that game faster. I think I'm gonna toss everything, really. Let's look for Bannerman. <laughs> Double Bannerman. Mad, thanks for the follow as well. This banner seems to be good. It, you know, I, 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 I say it again and again. People tell me it's got one of the highest win rates in Arena. I have been less impressed with it than I would expect. I'm not saying it's a bad card. I'm not saying it's a bad card. I'm just saying I've been less impressed than some people. Time for Batman, easy game now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I've had some double banner, banner in the banner games that have not worked out. We might get triple banner. You know, this banner or this ba banner might draw the last one. Really? It's not too heavy. That's really good. So, now maybe the critical mistake that people make, and maybe why I've been less impressed with it, is they go for the other banner right now. But we're probably going to go for Freebooter if they play into it at all. If they do play into it at all. So yeah, maybe the critical mistake is going for the next buff too quickly. Too quickly. Maybe I've been making that mistake. Maybe I've been seeing other people make that mistake. Or is it hard to make mistakes from a bandman? I get, you know, I, I keep repeating myself, but it's just, you know, I've seen a lot of players fail with this, and I've failed with this. But hopefully it won't fail this time. Not too heavy. Well, banner draws big game like last game. Didn't draw the last banner though. He's welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, mad. And <laughs> there's one more. <laughs> It'd be fun to find it. It'd be fun to find it. The sleepy dragon would go into big game hunter range, which actually could be bad if they've got one like we do. Bam is green, play Bannerman, but I delayed it. I delayed the second one. That is not the banner. Alright, we just got Egg Napper and Fisherman. Looks good here. Oops. I, love Smelly fist. Yummy fist. I said Egg Napper and, and Fisherman, but I tried to grab the big game higher. Is <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I don't usually do the banana man that uh 
that people have become that people have done a meme with. Oh, but I'll, if I say it like like Apu in The Simpsons said banana bread in one episode, I kind of like it. Banana man. That was an error. <laughs> Marge also says banana bread very distinctly when she offers to him. I baked you some banana bread. We've got... I've got the spell damage man, the cannons, which actually kills my own egg napper. Unless I were to make it immune first. Ah! Okay. I sense your strength. Hmm. Works out. I do two damage to the death speaker, but works out very well. Well, it works without the immunity. I wonder if they, if they thought their Dark Iron Dwarf was a pirate when they're throwing that shiver around. Mmm, quite possibly. Well, I don't know. They took the trade anyway. Strike! Then strike harder! Here's our deep run, but we're just going for Crusader, Cleric, Trade, Face. Alright, we're worried about mm, a little bit Chaos Nova, a lot Brawl. This is a blowout, as long as, as long as they don't have like a Brawl. Or maybe a Chaos Nova. Even even Chaos Nova, we could keep the 6... Well, yeah, we could keep a 6-5 or a 6-1. But it is concerning. They got the combo. I've talked about this combo, but I've never actually seen it. We've seen Defias Cannoneer, but never with the Demon Hire Hero power. So yeah, Defias Cannoneer becomes super, super, super good with the Demon Hire Hero power, because you can always trigger it. Yeah, Dice is a great combo to get. I've talked about it, but I've not seen it until just now. Could have sworn it went back together. There's the Sneeds. The Omega Devastator is actually good, too. <laughs> it's not as good as Sneeds, but uh, we're only two turns away from it activating. What a tragedy. Oh, so they lost to that uh, Cannoneer combo at 2-2 yesterday. I said one uh, deal for each turn. Yep, yep, yep. Swap that rest right. Play the bone drake. Uh, so they're not dead on board, but I can leaf them with the Libram. Means I don't get to play the Sneeds, but I guess we'll just kill them. Oh, we can also kill them this way. Delicious spider This one goes there. Okay. Like I said, we're supposed to take a break before that game. <laughs> but I queued in too quickly. We'll take a three minute break now. I hope you stick around. Uh, we're, we're already pulling off some cool combos. I, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that uh, Death Speaker Man the Cannons. We had the spell damage Man the Cannons. We couldn't really take advantage of it because it was going to kill our own minion. But with the Death Speaker, it worked very well. So yeah, we're getting some neat stuff. Hopefully, we'll keep doing it. Right, we're back. We'll be back. All right. Two wins, no loss. Immensive can here come down empty board, GG. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Potentially. Potentially, you might be able to, you know, rush it down or something like that. Okay. Well, I'd say. Bannermans are one of those kind of rare cards that are better on coin than off of it, but still happy to see it. Can play the deep run on two. We end up buffing the card we get off the deep run. Well, it's actually also one of the games that I could consider delaying the Bannerman, right? Because if we go deep run, we get another minion and... If I go Stonehill, we get another minion hand. We develop some little stuff on board while we're getting, uh... No way I'm taking Meat Wagon even with Bannerman. Um... 
While we're getting new minions in hand, we're, st we're drawing potential more minions. So this might be one where we wanted to lay the bannerman. Which is, ooh, righteous defense, haven't seen action yet. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not heard what it did to me? I mentioned it during the draft. I, I had the uh, Abyssal Enforcer, 8 mana, 12, 12. Can't go face. Opponent played Righteous on it, put it down to 1-1, one, one, and they, you know, buffed their Lion Guard by plus 11-11. I died. <laughs> I died. Time waits for no one. So this is ouch. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They actually played uh, Bannerman, too, so they went face for 15-15. <laughs> they are not holding a dragon. This one's a little slower, but a little bigger. And Oyotron actually is good with Bannerman, and it's faster. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna there. take an Oyotron over the six mana card in this case. But if you wanna go the other way, I don't think you're wrong. Sansi Moen, good to see ya. Hope you're doing great. Or at least good, yeah. We don't need, we don't need to go too far. Uh, really? It's mm. not too heavy. This one goes there. Uh, so if they heal that, they can do three damage again. And they probably will do that. Mm. Let's bump again then. It's still the same thing if they heal it. Johnny, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, wow. They don't even have to do the hero power. Well, I was hoping they'd have to at least do that. Okay. So. We can go Cable Rat plus possibly Lackey. Or we can do Anomaly, Cable Rat, Anoyotron. These are not super great right now, unfortunately, but now, okay, there's Faceless Lackey. I guess I'm playing that over the Anomaly. Same deal here. If we bump here, it's easier to kill the Bannerman, but now they can't even heal the 1-3 with their hero power to get back up to 3 attack. Holy Nova would be incredible here for them. I'm worried they're about to do it. What does say once Righteous Defender, or Righteous Defender, what's going to come Uh, yeah, Righteous Defense. Uh, Bone Drew Vanguard, dropping 11, 17 Sneeds on turn 8. It's one big Sneeds, baby. Alright, they're holding a spell that costs 5 or more. So wait, what is that 2-3? Wait, which one? Apexis? Yeah, if you pl play a secret, discover a spell. It's a sick beard, brother. I'm glad you appreciate it. I've seen more people <laughs> be, be positive about it than negative thus far. So we can get down the 9 9 Clockwork Giant right now. This may get more expensive if I try to hold it back. The scribe is actually more reliable right now, though, is the thing. Open the silves. Mm -mm. Oh, do I have a defense against that? These are due back tomorrow. Do I have a defense against these dark arts? Got a hammer. Righteous defense doesn't work. That's pretty annoying. I do get to kill the four four at least, but then I get poisoned. Right. Quick, big man, your own minion, stop them from poisoning it. <laughs> Mercy kill. I got a storm watcher. If I had my kooky chemist, I could actually flip it and then shoot it. It's a, it's a card worth righteous defensing. If we're really lucky, I guess it could land here. Not landed there. It's not the just the city of 
is yeah, I'm love to eat those stats. Um, so can you cast that on your minion? Big, big game hunter? Big game hunter, yeah, actually, it requires you to destroy your own minion. If you have a 7 plus attack minion on board, and they don't. Speaking of 7 plus attack minions... I've got the beast in my sights. <laughs> it's kind of a shame here to delay the 10-12, but... I don't know, how many chances do I get to big game hunter? Go me a 3-5. Did the 4-5 Divine Shield instead. I could also flip the 8-8 if I didn't want to switch from a 5-4 to a 4-5. Well. You think my double trade and going for the scribe? Well, you're gonna get a chance to double trade now. <laughs> Okay. They still have a spell that co Oh no, no, it was the web weaver, right? I'm like, they still have a spell that costs five or more, but it was the web weaver, I believe. The void is filled with many Speaking of love to eat those stats. I can, put, I can put that down at one health with Libram, but it's a stat stealing match. Oh, Alrush's Russia's defense could cast that on our jet with spires on board. Oh, but then I have to deal with. Well, I had the weapon charger. I'm like, I have to deal with the other spider before I can play my other buffed up minion. All the references cannot be. Speaking of someone even larger, man. Spell damage on the taunt, actually. Out of cards. Two bannermen in deck. Wow! They played a Forge Fiend. They revived it with the Amulet of the Dying. Now they got another one. I think I'm gonna take eight damage, am I? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. If you're confident you're drawing Bannerman, you could maybe wait on these and buff them both, but... I'm not confident. Silk advocates banning the Righteous Defense, maybe. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. John says, surely this will work. <laughs> the, it's very impressive. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. If I taskmaster this, you become a 9-10. And if I trade here, eh. Okay. So I go 9-10, I trade here. Then I trade here and kill this, and then I leave the 5 6 against this taunt. Back to work. I dare you! <laughs> the 
All right, they have played four Forge Fiends in total. Which, how much, how much extra health is that? At 16 a pop, it's 16, the 64 extra health. 64 extra health we've been working through. Plus the 88 bodies that have taunt I have to get through too. Well, whatever their top deck was, they didn't play it. Innervate Forge Fiend. Innervate Forge Fiend. Innervate Forge Fiend. Fifth Forge Fiend. They were up to 64. Now they're up to... What is it? 70? I don't even know. Uh... Oh, sure. And I get a random Bannerman while two of my Bannermen are just hanging out in the deck. Part of the Bannerman Union. Ugh. This has spell damage, I'm gonna trade off anyway. Alright. <laughs> I just have to get the troll. Somebody's gotta submit it. Shot that with the man, the cannons. That would damage both all my, all three of my minions. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Come on, give me someone cool off Grime Street. It's finally time for a death night. Or not. Because they got five, <laughs> five of the Forge Fiends and they're, they're still losing at the moment, but... What else do they have? It's a Bear Shark Life! That golden gnashing of teeth. Oh yeah, an ATD in, in the swoosh, it's actually 80. More taunt! More taunt! <laughs> Uh, double man the cannons. Okay. The I have battle. to trade these off first for sure. There's no question. And then we... Let's see if I... Shoot this. Then... Trade here. Pay for that. Leave me be. Now, I want to top deck another bone mare, so I killed that instead of going face for four. That was literally iron points at top from the opponent. They had that jade behemoth too. I need the ultimate death rattle off Grave Digger. I don't know if I have enough time to get my own Colossus. <laughs> oh, he says, here comes the, the Hadronox to resummon all their taunts or whatever. Uh, so you can never draft too greedy, apparently. 
I don't, yeah, yeah, your life steal. Great. You're at 29 because you've gained 50 bazillion armor. Good for you. <laughs> I need the ultimate death rattle. The ultimate death rattle. Well, I mean, I can get a reliquary prime in the deck, but I can draw it with the bannerman, but is it too late? They have 11 damage. So if I kill off the reliquary and I draw a bannerman, the bannerman draws the reliquary. I mean, maybe, maybe that could do some. Is my cards the point of lift? Oh, I didn't even draw the bannerman. It says, could you win fatigue? Well, with the extra card here, maybe I could on something. This has been such a painful match. Hundreds upon thousands of points of taunt and armor. Here's another apotheosis. This is absolutely brutal. He's banned priest. But the Druid dual class will be collateral damage. Worth it. Thanks, I commend you, sir. I'm simply done for the day. Well, it, was, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> at least they revived, uh... At least they revived the, uh, eight eights instead of the seven sevens with seven sevens inside of them. Bring the fury of the elements. Now you're sailing on my seas. All right. Eh. Kicks his eye, YouTube. I, I, wrote, I wrote down the match time. I wrote down the match time. Guess it's fun and interactive. I got to interact with the taunts. I got to smack a lot of them with my minions. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? And next is the visual game. The, uh... The, them dropping the Colossus at the end was was a little miserable. Smell the fish! Yummy fish! <laughs> the sun has set. Oh, that's no good. You're paying for my description. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm still delaying the banner. The egg napper works well against these. Classes and apotheosis for both halves, but they were at 29 health because they'd gained like 64 armor. <laughs> so you've got to trade the whole game. What should we say? Mm hmm. You gotta laugh or else you cry. I, I, I've mastered doing both simultaneously. <laughs> Tears pouring down the cheeks, right into the laughing mouth. Big salt. A lar. I can. So I can shoot a lar with Big Game Hunter, but that just comes right back to life. I can do big game hunter kooky, but I need more mana. I just gonna make a lar into a 1-1 one, one temporarily? <sighs> if I do that, I have to play nothing. 
That's the three jump you can coin that out. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> No. Uh, I must choose. Ethel triple trade. Now the hope! <laughs> They're never gonna do this. The hope is they trade the Alar, then they go face, and then I big game the Alar and I kill the egg next turn, but... <laughs> They're never gonna let me do it. Never. Well, is this one more or less miserable than the other match? Wait, this works? Oh, I was... Yeah, time to flip. I was genuinely forgetting when the Alar... I thought the Alar was, you know, at the end of the turn, transform us into Alar, but it's at the start of your turn, and so... I didn't, uh... <laughs> that was better than I thought it would be. It's, it's not Dredsty, it's not, apparently. I have things you never knew you wanted. Well, it's not as good as you thought it was, apparently. I s <laughs> I, 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 I was about to say, is this match more or less miserable than the last one? Because I'm, you know, I'm gonna lose on turn seven type thing. But actually... Actually, we have a bit of a shot now. These all have 1-1 one, one Murlocs inside of them. We're losing health quick, but... If they don't have a great answer to this Vanguard... We might still be getting some stuff done. Maybe. I don't know anything about their hand, or they can trade the 2-1 and get a random mage spell. Look at the random mage spell. Get another Murloc. I missed, uh, sorry, I yeah, guess I was, I was still in the midst of despair, but Tallboy had a long message that says, Put, devolve your Ysera into the four elemental gain stats when you play spells. Oh yeah, the, well, I don't remember the name of that card, the Arcane Devourer or something. Top deck Battlemaster, play Dream Nightmare Coin, <laughs> Dark Conviction, the Battlemaster for 18, 16 attack with Fury. They're full health plus two armor insane. Well, okay. <laughs> that is some good damage. <laughs> Gavel. I take the nine damage. This is your points drafting. We're going just rank such a light tempo deck. Well, that's why I graded on our last run, but. I don't know. We, we, we still have not. Recovered here yet. So hold on, I, I have to decide if we're playing Deep Run or if we're playing Crusader. Because right now I'm trading here and I'm buffing this to kill that, which gives us a coin. So I go down to six, but I have a coin. I could still play Deep Run Coin Crusader, right? Hmm. So, try to gain armor, or just take the Anoil. Probably just take the Anoil, but it's a little tricky, actually. We're not sure exactly where we'll be. Have another dose! <laughs> Mm. 
Well, they have a coin and three other cards. Okay. I hope they low roll. I hope they low roll all of these. That one's a high roll. They got plenty of health to attack with that. The other ones are low rolls, not a, even any two threes or three twos. Man the cannons. Uh, that would enable, if we hit here and here and here and shoot there. Oh. Chat's smart. <laughs> I would have completely missed this lethal. I would miss this lethal every time. I would always miss this lethal. The man the cannons is so good that I would never, ever see this lethal. Total tunnel vision. I would never see this lethal any day of my life. The man the cannons and getting the death rattle is too sweet for me to ever see. <laughs> that is a chat lethal. That is a fully legitimate chat lethal. I would never see that lethal on any day of my life. The trade is too sweet. <laughs> they took nine damage from Vanguard for no reason. They should be alive. That's the opposite of that. I, I shouldn't be alive show. The <laughs> I, I, I did, you know, they, they, they took the nine damage before they made a couple other swings with minions and stuff. I was curious if they could have, you know, like swung weapon earlier. Uh, even if they wanted to do that, but I wasn't completely sure. Check and so <laughs> the well, I'm glad chat can, because yep, I would have always missed that. It, it was it was so uh, my mind so wants to take the trade that I, it even took me a second to process what chat was saying. Logic was the first to say it. Logic said dead, and Wheeler said dead the board. And I was looking at the damage on their board. I'm like, I, what? What are you guys talking about? I'm at 14. I'm going to make a trade. How could I die? They low rolled the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to die here. Don't don't worry. We've, we've got good trades. What? <laughs> don't like coin informant or cable rat. Try a coin freebooter into Death Speaker. It says use attack counter. Oh, even though you don't see it, I actually do have the attack counter. <laughs> I do have the attack counter, but I had such a good trade. I wasn't even looking at the opponent's face. I was trying to one. I was trying to think of every death rail I could roll <laughs> off my uh, grave digger. You should look at the opponent's face, and usually I do, but. <laughs> I drew the man the cannons. I'm like, oh, that's really good. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. <laughs> Is sure can for lethal the first step always? Yeah. Out of my way, because it should. <laughs> Alright, do we have lethal? Three plus two. Uh, is less than 27, but wait, I can do an extra one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Only 21 off, right? Hey, dudes, over here. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, kings. The piranha launcher is not very good. It's just kind of too expensive for what it does. If they want to ping the 3-1, they can have at it. I had the ability to buff this to 4-2, which makes it hard to ping, but I, uh, I didn't think it was relevant. Turns out to be very irrelevant, unfortunately. Pretty long until Devastator's viable, but I bet I, I bet I can get a clockwork. Maybe I'll be wrong. 
My powers are never truly gone. Hmm. So we, one option we have is to Clockwork Giant Rush. We end up with this 9-3. Another option, though, is to Blessing of Kings and Trade. I wish we could Blessing of Kings and Death Speaker. Uh, do we have anything else that's any good here? I could play Libram, technically. Alright, well, even though I definitely think they'll be able to kill the clockwork from here. I'll go for this. Fix a giant rush is, yeah, yeah. They had that nobleman card. They could have copied their fire sale. We might get hit by another fire sale here. The noble fire sale. Nah, let's go. Razor jaw. We lose the giant, but that was expected. Got something to hide. Double Sun Reaver, no secrets. If this is a minion, it's got the two spell damage. We've got the King's Death Speaker, but... Nothing worth trading into. Maybe I'll do King's Tar Creeper and hope they don't, uh... Have a strong response to that. Maybe I do want a Death Speaker. I'm gonna do it this way, actually. This one goes there. This is a weak to Flame Strike, though. I could have dropped the 2 2 and kept the 5 6. Walking Fountain. Never happy to see that. Uh. <sighs> All right, they're back at full health. They have five cards. We're still decent on cards, though. And we're ahead on board. They got that spell damage from Medivh's mom still. There's Meteor in right now. Meteor is in right now. And they may have just got a Sneeds. If they got a Sneeds, at least I can big game honor it. Ugh. Fix was talking about the fish gun used to be good in constructed. Hmm, I'm not even sure if I remember that. There's even more people thought Death Rail's proc the outcry. Yeah, and if if the uh, lightning tested this. If the if it's like uh, the priest, the convincing infiltrator that kills a minion, and you kill that, Sneeds dies mid battle cry. What? Doesn't that sometimes improve my board? <laughs> Doesn't do much to me. Um. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Something. I've totally lost track of what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, if Sneeds dies in the middle of the battle cry, you still keep shooting missiles, even though Sneeds is already dead. Dead Sneeds still shoots rockets, exactly. We had lightning here, test this. Um, I don't think I want a Libram. I can flip one of the walls. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. I guess I'm not gonna do that. I must choose. Is it? Eh. Ooh, I became uh, too obsessed, too obsessed with the value of the Bannerman. I should have just taken the four-four. King's honor, friend. We will hold the Black Temple. 
Which is very fearless. Well, I don't know. Everything's gone now. <laughs> It'll cost you an arm. Tidal Surge. I was thinking uh, first flame. First flame, second flame. I don't want to play anything here. Um, do we just go for it? I can flip this, hit it, and then big game it. Delicious spider Back to work. I got the beast in my side. This doesn't like it. <laughs> No, sir, I don't like it. He's ready to use righteous defense? Eh. Yeah. I was hoping we'd draw a minion, they'd play like an 8 8. Saw plenty of them from that druid. Reporting for duty. No problem. Mm, let him ping the 5 1. Maybe I should trade there. Ugh. Well, I guess I wouldn't have drawn a minion there. I did draw that minion, but. Missed a minion here. Yeah, I really wanted to something bigger with Righteous Defense. But maybe they'll never play it. Are they a great minion they have in hand for the Righteous Defense? Do I ever hold this? Reporting for duty. The battle! The battle! No problem! It's not just the city yeah. of pages. Only one card. Only one card in my deck that is not a minion. It's the man the cannons. Drain the Lion Guard. Okay. There's a draft defense once, but the best use of is like four fours in mid game. Hmm. Should that point. We had like a behold the mule guard. <laughs> I left the buff name. His light favored. <laughs> staring at this disgruntled mule carrying all this stuff. Oh. <laughs> Truly the light shines down upon <laughs> this upset mule. Oh. <laughs> All right, a little bit of an awkward game there, but we made it through. We made it through. Make the eyes glue, yo, yeah, yeah. I think they did to Illidan very briefly, didn't they? Before he said no and he killed everybody. <laughs> Actually, Illidan was born with yellow eyes, wasn't he? Oh, now I'm trying to remember the lore. Yeah, well, Obi's talking about using righteous defense in the mid game. But, I don't know. I think I... I think I want to look for Bannerman. Try to draw this later. Damn. He says, I look for Bannerman. He 
He's the last night to be on my entire frenzy, buffed your mule, and <laughs> you four or five, six dollars for two turns. Very nice. We get a random beast. I'm hoping they can't coin an Og Merchant. Speaking of pack mules. Speaking of the mules. Hmm. I was gonna fall in Sun Cleric and trade into the 1 1. Maybe I'll just play a mule now. It's a fire hard to just found to keep your righteous defense in the mulligan. It's a really strong card. <laughs> They're going first to Moriafi, which I was going first. And they're gonna put someone inside the banker. It's the Evoker, new card. We are. The sun has set for me. Gonna wait a turn. Wait a turn on the bannerman. Be surprised by the coin banker. Yeah, I mean, they might just not have other good cards. And I'm gonna do a very early Righteous Defense. Maybe not with this draw. But I may have done it before. Nerd, good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Chat got lethal a couple of games ago. <laughs> I would have missed it. Wow, they're, they're doing... They're, they're doing Coin Banker, they're doing Spice Bread Baker. Not what I would expect to see. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. I'm gonna swing the weapon, you could give up the 2-1 though. All we know is they've got that Evoker. Well actually, we know they have a random beast and we know they have the Evoker from the Banker. There's the Evoker. They draw a two mana spell and gain two armor. <laughs> you got the wrong guy. Do I want to kill the evoker? No. I'm gonna say yes, but if you want to let him keep the three four and go face for four more, maybe it's worth it. Maybe. A little healing. Don't know what this secret is. It's a not very useful explosive trap. I think I just play Vanguard here. We can go for the banner next turn. We can go like Banner Crusader. We will hold the black that was the two mana spell they drew, I think. Fix I managed to unlock the gear up Garrosh achievement without unlocking Garrosh. If you go and look at the achievement, uh, yeah, you, you just got like Smite or Eudora at a level 30. <laughs> Which are both mistakenly named Garrosh in the achievements. <laughs> On this glorious day, we are all Garrosh. This turn's a little weird, because there is Frozen Clone in the meta. And I would not want them to Frozen Clone what now? the Bannerman or the Informant. So I guess I'm gonna end up playing the Egg Napper. I ain't no snitch! Must we determine its ice barrier. Yeah, it's Mir, so this would have been fine, but I was too scared of Frozen Clone. Hey, dudes! Over here! Mm, I do have a beast, so the hatchet is sizable. I don't need the cargo. Catacomb Guard is kind of neat with Bannerman, but let's just hatchet their face. They're losing health quick. So if they get a Bannerman, they're pretty much dead anyway. That, that's true, yeah. If they if they try to, you know, play a 3-mana 2-2 two, two, and a 3-mana three, 3-3 three, three, and they've only got 2-mana left, I mean, you're right. You're right that it's unlikely they could ever win. I sense your strength. All right. All right. 
And that was a, yeah, kind of a weird game. Their explosive trap did almost nothing for them. They played a spice bread baker, which is a pretty terrible card. Perhaps they coined out that banker, which, I, yeah, the coin out banker I don't necessarily hate. I've done that before, I believe, but yeah, kind of a weird one. Kind of a weird one. Kind of a game I'd expect more if we were at, you know, 1 2 or something. Gerash versus Gul'dan. Know the true essence of fear. Fear. You're sailing on my sea. So coin pack mule into like fallen sun cleric is good, although it means I don't get double pack mules if I keep this. That's maybe just bad draw on there, and maybe. Drafting spice bread baker in general, though, I think is questionable. I don't ha put any value in it personally. Tristan's be a Pandaren hero win. Probably when we get the monk class. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Looks like it's time for a break after this game, by the way, just as a heads up. The sun has set Everything's me oddly for Hunter Hero Power. They have nothing but slow control tools. Which, yeah, I, I do love Hunter's Pack, which... Hunter's Pack is gone again, right? Hunter's Pack is, like, from Rostacon or something. <laughs> but I did enjoy playing all the Hunter's Packs last meta. Okay, well, Zip Gunner is what we were trying to do with our last deck. We can kill it with Death Speaker, and then there'll be one off hitting here, or killing there anyway. Uh, I'll do it. See how they can respond. Oh. So why do we get Demon Hunter before Monk anyway? Well, Death Knight was before either of them, in terms of class release order in World of Warcraft. Uh, and I would say the main reason you got Demon Hunter before Monk is that I mean, it's, Demon Hunter is more marketable for sure, right? It's much easier to sell the majority of people on, you know, I've sacrificed everything. What have you given? More blades, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> eye beams, than <laughs> than uh, than the Brewmaster and such. It's yeah, it's really easy to sell people on Death Knight. People would be probably less hyped for Monk. <laughs> Fixed with vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. Yeah, it's an easy sell. It's an easy sell. <laughs> I could actually do this. It's a little bold. Is this a problem? Was that a problem? I thought I had actually heard that it had been successful, but uh, maybe I've been misinformed. Double hand buffed, right? But th guess what? I can big game higher that. Oh, or not. Or not. Oh, yeah, the Ursatron got one of the buffs. My mistake. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this played one time by me, but it was discovered, not drafted. Huh. I got the bronze arrow down and it died. I can buff the dragons with the bannerman, but I really just want to play scribe right now. What a tragedy! They took two damage. Oh, they take they took four damage the second time. They took two the first time. Hicks talks about, you know, not necessarily sales success, but I uh, need to be careful with the pandas. Hmm, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, 
I mean, it doesn't work against the poison, but the heroic innkeeper may pull off something here. The only question is if you're scared of glutton. I want to get ma Mastodon, unless I'm scared of glutton, which maybe I am. Hmm. Oh, I could buff both pack mules with Bannerman. Oh, no, I only get one. I don't get both. <laughs> so is it kind of embalming? Is embalming around right now, or is that just in the last meta? All of exports a blast crystal at least is in. Yeah, Steve says innkeeper. I took the innkeeper, although, you know, that poison has to die for it to be successful at all. Always been furiously summoned Mastodons, I haven't been in yet. I haven't had much of a choice to be fair. I I have not been playing Mastodons. And I've eaten two enemy Mastodons, so gives me a bit of pause. They got Rush on there, but they got nowhere to rush to. I think it's actually the first doggy biscuit I've seen. Okay. I've got the beast in my sights. The big gameable big game. They have a discovered spell. Might be like deadly shot. Ah, uh, they're gonna try to gastropod. I can oh, and that might be like freezing trap too. I can use Libram to get through the gastropod itself, but then... Might be in trouble after that anyway. Got so little health. I guess it could be back tactics. Yeah, uh -huh. Can't really do anything about that. As I'm dead to explosive, am I still dead with the Lightbringer's hammer, I wonder? What now? Uh, it's actually Venom Strike, which can still kill the 9-7. I'm um, at 13, which is dead to their board, so I would have to trade here or the here currently. I must choose. Uh, really, it's not too heavy. Get the two damage lackey I win right now. Evolve. Gotcha. Ah, so our chances of winning is so low that maybe I should actually just go face and hope they miss lethal like I almost did earlier. I would have without chat. Uh, my chance of winning is so low that maybe I should actually just go face and hope they don't see it. Maybe so they avoid the mass of the draft from possible, but still forced into them from time to time. Yeah, I, I've been... I've picked up Forge Fiends and Colossi, but I, I haven't really taken any Mastodons or Sleepy Dragons, except for this Sleepy Dragon. <laughs> I think they have to if they want us to have lethal, or they could put raise some walls. Alright, put our faith in the Innkeeper. Is sniper well, probably not, but you know, I, I, I would just laugh though if you know it's like Mo, Mo, Moses or you know, Lionel says sniper. No, I don't think Lionel, uh, okay, fair, okay, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I didn't have faith in the innkeeper at first, but is it gonna work? They still have that discovered spell, they still have that discovered spell. Ah, okay, well, 
At least they don't develop anything. I'm down to seven, and I get to drop two bronze dragons, which is lethal with Libram. Huh. Actually, the dude also makes it lethal. Alright, do we get or do we not? Do we get or do we not? We only have four mana left. Nice. So we don't have lethal on board anymore, but the L L Librum still gets us there. Or we could play the top deck cool task. Eh. Librum of lethal. <laughs> the cool task would have got us there too, but I played the existing card. Okay. That was a pretty scary game on a lot of different turns. <laughs> Didn't think we were gonna make it. So the GG. That uh, that was a pretty 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 close one. <laughs> All right, I did say it was time for a break. We will take a break. We'll be back in three minutes. Uh, yeah. Hope you stick around. All right, let's get back to it. Thanks to uh, Mino with the follow. I appreciate that. Just need to get one more win for the infinite. Which I'd be pretty pleased with. Like I said, I've had a lot of Bannerman decks fail me. Kerash versus Jaina. You asked for it. Now you're sailing on my seas. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna keep the kooky. I think we're gonna take an extra draw for Bannerman. I'll keep these two. Got one Bannerman. Let's just drink up and up. Mm. So, yeah, I think we'll see the new principle I'm establishing <laughs> of not wanting to go banner banner. Instead, we will uh, probably go banner tar. Or maybe I'm actually gonna pack mule banner. Ooh, they got the uh, they got the adapt. Yeah, this is very interesting. Honestly, I'm like, well, do I just want a righteous defense right away? I mean, this is overstated. It's early game overstated. Ha ha ha. with the nine months of sub, by the way. The Twitch baby sub. I already rose a glass to pop. I'll raise another. <laughs> Very concerned with the hydration. As always. Much safer with support. It is safer <laughs> when you stay hydrated. As long as you don't vastly overdo it. It's tough to vastly overdo it, but... Okay. Bannerman, Coin Cleric. I could Lightbringer's Hammer, Coin Fallen Sin Cleric, ignore the battle cry, but get the 4 6 just against the 2 1. Eh. I'm thinking I do want to go for the banner. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Especially because it buffs the Fallen Sun itself. All right, five, seven, three, three. Got those stolen stats. King's on a friend. Yeah, as long as they don't use a silence there, I'm pretty, pretty reasonably happy. Our best draw here would have been Death Speaker. Pretty sure. As she's. I appreciate it. Hopefully we can dedicate a win to you here. I hope. I hope. 
Well, we can trade and freebooter and informant. I like that pretty well. If we get a minion off the informant, we can buff it with the banner later. Hey, dudes, over here! Huh? Rat King. Rat King. Immortality. Sorry, it's bad either. No, it's, it's it's not. But yeah, I would have probably preferred to use the Death Speaker to uh, make the five four trade in for free. Uh, but then again, I guess then I have a five four up against their four one. I wouldn't have the ability to kill the four one. So maybe this was just as good. Gonna get a buffed up fire spell in the future. That's a little scary. Can go Bannerman, Tar Creeper. What a tragedy! Better let this down. Just gonna do this. Got an idea here. An idea, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work. The idea is you play uh, Rat King Run, and you end up with your scrolls on board and you trade the scrolls to bring the Rat King back but we'll see we'll see what happens I need one more mana one more mana to make it really work because then I'd get the 6-6 six, six Rat King uh, <laughs> really, it's not too heavy. Ah, that's what I wanted last time. Now I got it now. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Take out the proud defender, keep the 6 4 intact. And this is playing against Ixar. <laughs> Well, be be glad the Cthune exploit is gone. <laughs> the last bannerman. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I mean, I'm revealing my plan here. But that doesn't necessarily mean they can play around it. My spam and start talking. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, they can see the plan. They can see the plan right there, that I want the Rat King to die and then bring it back with the scrolls. But they're gonna flame strike me and avoid it. I still get the Dormant Rat King, but... Oh, oh, it's not... <laughs> it's a flame strike, but it's not a flame strike. It's uh, a powered up volcanic potion from that Pyromancer. I think I want to keep the man the cans. We'll swing the hammer. Oh yeah, that, that's notable too. I hadn't thought about it much with Rat King. But, um... Oh yeah, Punch this 5, now that's true. Uh, I hadn't thought about, about much with Rat King in dual class, but, uh... You know, I'm summoning dudes, which are little minions for my Rat King. Single class hunter just does the two damage face. They don't be able... They, they can't summon their own dudes to help revive Rat King. It's not just the city of mages. And so you think having a level 7 out of 8 weapon on the second stage of a game would be enough to carry. I don't know how many stages there are in total lightning. There could be 3 or there could be 20. <laughs> I don't have the details. Nice, there's 6. All right. All right. Sounds, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Delicious. 
spider Italy. I've got the beast in my side. Leave me be. I should have you acquire that rat king. Uh, where did we get it from? We got it from... Uh, Grime Street Informant. Discover a hunter or a warrior or paladin card. Alright. Alright. We got the infinite. They got to do a b good board clear. But, I mean, that was a game. That was a game that did demonstrate what Obi was suggesting earlier of using Righteous Defense pretty on. Pretty early on. They got that adaptation on the Thunder Lizard. So they got a uh, turn three, three six. We used the righteous defense, and it worked out very well. Uh, and yes, dedicate that win to Pont. Pont with the nine months of sub. The Twitch baby sub. Thank you very much again. Upgrading to the red badge. The red badge. Geras versus Lunara. The forest fights back. Now you're saving <laughs> Just choose a small number. Well, like I said, I also. <laughs> I feel like I also need to know that uh, three is not the max number. And I tossed the man the cans and I redrew it. What is it? I had things you never knew you wanted. Uh, really? Yeah. It's not too heavy. Not buffing many minions with the bannerman, but I do get the grave digger out of range of just their hero power, I suppose. Flip the three six. Kill it as an eight three. The dark path is my destiny. Uh, I could shoot this. Okay. I'll shoot that and trade there. That puts that four one, but. I like dropping the grave digger here. I was thinking about the freebooter, but let's let's go this direction instead. They still have that oh, discovered God. spell at the end star in their deck. They get a gore fiend in the banker. At least we know about it. I am interested in the death rattle that's inside the grave digger, but I also favor keeping minions on board right now, so we're gonna play the death speaker before the freebooter. Now we got seven. Mind if I roll need? They eat the loot hoarder to draw another card again in the future. Hmm. He says, Ixar tried to deep run you, but you had the last laugh because you had a draft. <laughs> there you go. See, you, we just need... We just need to continuously defeat Blizzard developers with Sneeds. And that'll increase the odds <laughs> that they ban it. I don't know. They can't really ban it from Discovers, which is... You had a drafted one, but they can't really ban it from Discovers, which is the main problem. They could ban Deep Run, though. They could ban Deep Run, I suppose. Looks your damage the whole third floor. I think it's a nightmare difficulty, boss. They're looking for poison. They found the poison. They get the loot whore back. I cry every time. But... You know, they are really low on health. Uh, really? 
It's not too heavy. It's not just the city of Phoenix. I can't win them all. All right, they just can't concede. I was deciding whether to push full face or take the trade. I was gonna take the trade. You know, I love the trade. Leave them empty board. Okay, eight wins, one loss. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We've been playing about five and a half hours. I probably will make this the last run of the day end on a high note. I don't know if we're still going to have dual class when we come back on Tuesday for one more day of it or not. As we're going quite well. That says, how hard it would be to remove a card from the Fool Discovers? Um, so... It seems like they could do it if they really wanted to, because when they put out Descent of Dragons, they made it so you couldn't discover Galakrond cards in Constructed and also in Arena. Um, and so they had those Galakrond cards in the Descent of Dragons set, but they made some of them undiscoverable. And so maybe they had to do some weird hacky thing to make that work. But... In theory, you could do it, uh, you could do it again, but, um, yeah, I w they would have to at the same time. I, I don't think they have the tech to separate Arena from Constructed there is still a problem, and so I don't think they could, um, they would have to make Sneeds undiscoverable and Constructed too, which I don't think they want to do that. Right, yeah, exactly. Dance, I don't think they've removed cards from the Discover Pool for Arena, but not Constructed. Right, so they, they they could do it. They've done it before, but currently they don't have the, a way to separate Arena for, from Constructed for that. And some programmers seems like a very basic operation to me. Uh, I'm not a programmer, but... Um, I know the term spaghetti code. <laughs> and so they might have layers of stuff that makes it more difficult than it sounds. That's implying you never play Deep Run Constructed. Yeah, maybe it's not happening, but... At the same time, I can understand them not wanting to make... Really? It's not too inconsistent... Heavy. ...decisions. Means what card did they move from Discover before? All, all of the all the Galakrond cards, all the Galakrond cards, the one that would the ones that would uh, invoke Galakrond. I think those are the only ones. Nice. We can buff both of the pack mules. With the Bannerman. But on this turn. You got the wrong guy. I think I'm just playing suspect. Seriously, we know we can adjust the class card appearance rate in Discovers, right? Well, again, yes, but not individual to arena or construct it applied to both modes at the same time but they did bring down the rate of class cards and discovers and so maybe they could adjust the individual appearance rate of sneeds to low but once again it would affect constructed and arena at least right now so like i said i think they just don't want to do that Right, the Kai says discover weights are based on class nine individual cards. Right, but theoretically, if they can affect weights at all, they could change things to affect the weight of a single card. But I don't think they'd want to do that because then you get this really hidden RNG layer, right? You get this really hidden RNG layer, and I I, I don't think they want to do that in general. Um Because there's no reason, as a new player, even an experienced player, if you're not keeping up with the patch notes or Reddit or what have you, to know that when you discover a mech, 
You're not going to find Sneeds because they've tanked the offering rate. That's a super hidden mechanic, and I can understand them not wanting to do that. That's what we need is an eat target neck, gain plus one, plus one. They actually had a card in Boom's Day that was a five mana, three, three. It was very expensive at five mana, but it was a five mana, three, three that was battle cry, destroy a mech. It's called like EMP operative or something. This is, I'm opinion, making seeds, not mech is probably the better solution. Oh, that's, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we've talked about this and we mentioned, and Lightning was surprised I knew this, but we mentioned one of the cards, like, in the Boomsday set that uh, is is a character in a mech, like Sneed, uh, but that particular card is not a mech. And, it, and they changed the art, because it looked like a Shredder thing. Everybody was asking in the pre-release, you know, why is this not a mech? It looks like a mech. And so then they, they redid the art, super zoomed in on the goblin driving it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? It's not too heavy. I ain't no snitch. Low roll on the three, unfortunately. I guess I looked at this first. the uncrowned. Well, I'm very, very, very wide here. We're scared of things like Lightning Storm for sure. And Chaos Nova. He says, I don't know if it's a limited time period or what, but having a tough on this dual class, usually leave it to a week or two, but now you got no choice. Yeah, you, it's leaving you behind. Okay, well, that was much better. I was scared, I was scared of Lightning Storm or, uh, or uh, Chaos Nova. That was much better than both. By all oh shoot! Well, that's uh, that's probably game. I did not see that coming. We will hold the Black Temple. Just need one more answer, and we're completely gone. I said, at least it was cool looking. <laughs> Why would you do this? Because it's cool. Mm-hmm. Says, I want to spoil the trivia. What you said about them changing the art wasn't completely correct. Just don't look at me. Thanks. Well, I, I kind of have to, <laughs> to understand why I'm wrong. I don't want to say it again in the future if somebody brings it up. Uh, boy, I, I was not completely correct. I don't know. I thought I remembered this story very well. No, I, I got to look it up. I got to look it up so I don't keep saying it wrong in the future. Uh, it was Omega, Omega Defender. Ah, yeah, I, I, I see. Yeah, the, the, the art was originally completely different. Right, yeah. That, that's true. Maybe I shouldn't imply that, uh... That all they did was zoom. Draw a mech from your deck. Do I have any mechs? Deeper on Discover's mechs, but it's not a mech itself. Uh, losing health. Losing health. I mean, that lurker was just so devastating. Brother says hello. Good to see you. Welcome back. We just got wrecked by Lurker below, like I said, took out a board of six minions. <laughs> I suggest that maybe they could change Sneeds to, like, have to multi-target instead of being able to shoot five missiles at a single target. Uh, definitely make it a lot weaker. <laughs> which music meme do you want? Come on and slam, or it's time to do, which was an option. Pick cards from deck, they fight. I, you know, if I pull, like, my Sleepy Dragon, it could be good, but a lot of stuff that would be bad. Okay, we gotta think about Librum. We gotta think a bit about Slam. We gotta think about three damage Slam. We're probably... Probably looking at the Librum. And so much health, though. Too much health. Too much health.
I hope I'm not dead, but I might be dead, especially the gap, you know, Inquisitor. If you have the mercenary grinding going, uh, I'm, I'm doing it more slowly now. I, uh, I've got, oh. Speaking of Sneeds. Speaking of Sneeds, so Lurker Below cleared my whole board, and then Sneeds cleared my whole board. I've had two different legendaries clear my whole board. Oh, uh, yeah. I can big game Honor, the Sneed, but... I usually die right after that anyway. Well, so I think the only viable play here is we slam the front of Suspect, hope the Blade Fist can kill the back of the three, and then big game higher this. Kick him off board, but we still got no health. Now, if I can survive a couple turns, or maybe just one, tur two turns, <laughs> if I, if the Cargath Prime can go into our deck and we can draw the Cargath Prime naturally or with Bannerman, then we can start gaining ten armor per turn until it dies. Maybe, maybe yeah, Bannerman's Cargath Prime. Yep, yep, yep. Well, there's the Cargath. There's the Cargath. I'm actually happy to have it die on their turn instead of mine. I get a 1 in 15 chance to draw it. Time is money, Auction Master Beardo. Right, come on, Prime. Come on, Prime. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm dead on board. So I need to... I've got... Mm, I've got two taunts I can draw. That's one of them. Out of my <sighs> so, Gastropod could potentially kill one of their minions, but Public Defender gives me more time, or more health, to try to survive and draw the Cargath. I think I, <laughs> I think I just take this. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nobody, no crime. Smelly fish, yummy fish. You must choose. All right. He says, "Well, are you not well?" I owe me ill-gotten gold. I owe me ill-gotten gold. The law. Panther goes in the stealth. It's a problem, but not this turn. Voice public defender been looking at such adoration. Come on, Cargath. Come on, Cargath. One in thirteen. Baby needs ten new armor. You can get some messages through Sneed's ping. This is never worth the ability to send Morse code. Actually, no, you have had the ability to send Morse code. Uh, people have done it before. Uh, you, you you can see when your opponent mouses over your portrait, and so you can go dit dit da dit 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 da da dit 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 dit. Is ten armor enough? Yeah, we, ten armor would be enough to live through the turn, almost certainly. Almost certainly, though I mean not to win the game. I don't know if we can live through this turn or not. We can trade, flip, trade, trade, and then I'm dead. Cargath, why did you forsake me? Delicious spider. No, no, I've got this. We got surprisingly close to a chance to survive. If we had drawn the Sleepy Dragon, you know, that could have delayed things too. 
I don't know if we could have done anything with Man the Cannons. I kind of doubt it. Well, no, Man the Cannons may have done it. Man the Cannons may have done it because I had spell damage. So with Man the Cannons, I could have killed the Stealth Jungle Panther and maybe more. Please. See if our YouTube account has any point as well as more to go if you're in our know, so. <laughs> No. If, if you think your opponent is sending Morse code, you, you shouldn't read it. Because it's just gonna be, you know. Let's see. Da 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 da, uh huh. Where? Ba ba ba, uh huh. No. Ba ba ba. Strangers. We're no strangers. To love. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. And so... Now you're sailing on my seas. Good look for Bannerman, but not for this. Uh, I missed a follow from two people. Because I see Crossbow in chat. Uh... And gave a follow six minutes ago. And uh, also from Jigglypuff. Sorry for missing those follows six minutes ago. Now I see them. 50 cents of Morse code. I, uh, I used to be able to read Morse code, but I've like forgotten it all. I'm sure Google could translate it. Oh, wait, I think I already said hello. Oh, well. I think maybe they'll be listening to the message my people for one million views. <laughs> yes, it's still the same stream from Friday, it's true. It's true, we've been here for about 40 hours. I think we can make it another 40. I love <laughs> he says this. Well, I, can, I can think of one or two things. Oh, wait, maybe he says this one. Oh. <laughs> Society says just retired a 7 2 run. What? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Yeah, after losing to Engineer Sneed's combo two times in a row, makes you so angry you don't even want to play the game anymore. Close the game. Feels bad. Feels real bad, apparently, to retire a run that you have already got infinite on. I'm, yeah, hey, to each their own. <laughs> I've never done that. I'm not sure if I ever would, but. You had the power within you. I guess I'll take the dire horn just for a little bit of a larger thing, but it doesn't appear to be a major help. Yeah, I'm gonna trade the raptor. I'm gonna trade the raptor. I don't think I value the raptor enough right now. I'm gonna the dire song and more, right? <laughs> Dolphin, also thank you for the follow. Super appreciated. Uh, we can just trade and Taskmaster if I want the poison gone immediately. But maybe... Maybe we're better off waiting a turn. They said we could have Megaton. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, uh, more so, I've mentioned before, more so than almost any other misplay in the game. Uh, adapting taunt on the taunt minion. Is something I've done. And we saw an opponent do it. Some, 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 someday. Someday recently. Um. <laughs> What now? Back to work! Well, not sure if I love it. But I think we'll go with this play. Yeah, 13 sisters talks about having pretty bad language IRL. The I I use the same language on the Twitch stream as I use IRL. You know? I I just say darn and Calm, sarn it. <laughs> Why is it not have a napkin? Eh, yeah, you know, it's part of traditional 1800s vampire dress. <laughs> uh, 
Like says, says Dagna, whoa, whoa, slow down. <laughs> what now? Don't gotta get so riled up. Ah, let's not go for the mega taunt. There's the mega taunt. Let's not do it. Uh, the crackling shield they could just take out with the raptor or with their ping. Uh, I don't really want the plus attack anyway. I'm still planning to go here and here, but maybe... Maybe I can go here. I might be super punished for this. We'll see. Is this you some function stream? Trips can the toe oppressive. But if, if I drop a, a can on my toe, I probably wouldn't say any words. I just... It's just a... String of... <laughs> Growling. Grr. Arg. So they dropped the Divine Shield, but now we've got Death Speaker. We can do one of two things. We can Death Speaker and kill this, and then swing here and go face for two. But th the thing we can do is we can either drop the Underling, or we can drop the Suspect. I may not get another chance to use the Underling at all. They may still be able to play around it, but eh. What can I bless for you? I sense your strength. Uh, hope they can't play around the underling. Crossbow says Murloc, wait, what Murloc? Murloc? Murloc where? Oh, or do you just mean the the string of growls? Blah, 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 blah. Could do that too. And likes it just for you. 17%. <laughs> Higher quality gear. Invulnerability windows are nice. Big, big thing in Dark Souls, if nothing else. I guess Dark Souls isn't so much an invulnerability window necessarily as an invulnerability frames. Oh no, it said dodge there, not on hit. Okay, Inquisitor, but they don't have enough mana to hero power, so that's not so bad. Uh, if we use the Fallen Sun Cleric here, we can trade the Underling and get the buffs. The buff might land on the Fallen Sun Cleric, but that's okay. The sun has set for me. We've played, you know, a billion dual class runs with a billion discovers. Now, I've only seen two opponents find a death knight. I've tried so hard to find one myself, and I never have. So we take the dire horn and we can try a track into our deep run. What's or track now? into a bannerman. Uh, I think I'm going to take the tracking. We have some reasonable cards in our deck. Only have a high chance of getting Hearthy Chris dropping things on toes. Hammer of a finger. Sliding, slamming of a hand slash finger in car door. I've had that happen one time. It was not pleasant. Well. Sometimes the mana tied to him would be a high roll, but when they can kill it so easily, it wasn't. So I'm gonna go face for four, but if they find any way to evolve the batter head or to maybe full heal it with a hosen, I wish I had traded. Oh yeah, yeah, and the, the line size the same thing, you know, they, they wouldn't be able to hero power for the Inquisitor anyway, because they got the mage one. Yeah, they'd have to have a weapon, you're right. They'd have to have a weapon, you're right. They ain't have enough mana and they wouldn't be able to do it anyway. You're very right.
We got Kooky. We have Man the Cannons. Can I just get lethal by kookying this and using Man the Cannons trade? Not lethal, but we could do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I wonder. <laughs> you sneed. <laughs> I must choose. Gonna damage my deep run though if I go back to the other plan. I very rarely find Sneed, so I probably won't find Sneed here. Alright. Feeling the need for Sneed. The need for the biggest problem of this meta, probably. Oh lord. Doing this one good. It's up next to a four living in the face for living. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, well. Pyro Blast to face. Pyro Blast to face. You have some amazing skills of the skill machine. All right, if we win this game, we'll take one more break. If we lose this game, I have to decide if we're doing one more run or not. <laughs> if we're ending it on this high note. Hmm. Garrosh versus Uther. Is that how it's an 8-8 eight eight also? I'm, I'm kind of glad it's an 8-8. Eight eight. Or a 7 7, just because I have been killing a lot of Sneeds with Big Game Hunter, actually. <laughs> so, why do you put so much weight on it now? I know. Because, you know, hopefully people leave feeling good and they want to come back. If people leave feeling lousy, you know, on a 1 3 or something, maybe they don't come back. Maybe we never see them again. I need people, Lightning. The wolves are at old saves door. <laughs> uh, we can do coin bannerman. Or coin bannerman. Kind of like that buffs really? the health there. Got no defender. I'm gonna go for once to win two more games. Get the guitar with. Which her estimation is the best part of the stream. I would also agree that the best part of the stream is, you know, anything I didn't directly create. So, uh, the things that are furthest from being touched by me. Untainted, if you will. <laughs> Uh, I guess we probably just like the hammer, really. The stone hill could be all right, but I don't want him to. Uh, I don't want him to like buff that with the kings. Hey, bodies of issue. In fact, it's so easy to win this man. It costs seven. Oh, I yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Says you create a new use for an old sound. You're like Dr. Dre. <laughs> I am like Dr. Dre. Google who is Dr. Dre. D R E. <laughs> what now? Uh, <laughs> Attack here, swing there. Go for the fisherman cleric. Oh, 
Well, we're way ahead on board for the moment, but they have access to uh, Bellfire Potion and some other stuff. <laughs> Dr. Spock. <laughs> Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Dr. McCoy. <laughs> Not sure if I should feel proud or not that actually. <laughs> yeah, it's needs again. I'm gonna delay picking it just so it's a little less obvious. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm proud or not that Dan's. I'm like, I actually am not sure if I immediately know who that is. If you said Dr. Phil, I'd be like, okay, sure, but. <laughs> The victory is yours. Right, this is, if I had to guess, save his tendency to not want to end on a bad note. Mm-mm. Last turn goes bad. That much more like they have another draft. That does happen. That, that usually happens if we have, like, three bad drafts in a row. If we have a good draft and a bad draft, that's fine. That's fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice to save blocks. <laughs> you, you, your, your, what Mad said and what you said. The, I, uh, it was just a Dr. Pepper thing. Oh, man, okay, wait a minute. So, Mad may have been going like Dr. Pepper and you were making fun. Like, no, it's Mountain Trades. Do Mountain do? Yeah. I don't know. These are going over my head. These are going over my head. Is that not with the child psychology book that, uh, Neil put up was called? I, I, maybe. <laughs> this is all going to my head. Uh, like says... Oh, you have, you have me and 20 alter egos. In terms of, you have people, I see. I see. It's all bots. Well, I did say we'd take a break if we won that game. We won that game a little quicker than I expected, but... Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll be back in three minutes for the last games of this run. It's been a sweet run. It's been my best triple bannerman deck. Like I said, I've had two or three of these fail, but this one worked. I just need a dual class to make it work. Let's get back to it. Ten wins. Already got the double digits. Can we get even more? We've also discovered more Sneeds in this run than I have across the entire meta. <laughs> across the entire week. Welcome back. Let's get to a win. Let's get our 11th win first. Victory on death. <laughs> Must be more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd rather get the Grime Street later in the game, but these are some of our best early cards. Might play the fisherman next turn, but I'm more likely to go with the other mule. I see the reason I'm more likely to go with the other mule is that we've actually got the two man the cannons, which the fisherman can uh, be good with. We've only really used that combo one time. Oh, speaking of man the cannons. Speaking of man the cans, they made a huge mistake. You, did you see it? Did you catch it while they did it? They they threw the man the cannons before they traded their glacial shards. The man the cannons killed their glacial shard. They could have killed both my mules, but they didn't. Sneeze in hand. Can't too much. Feels like we do for a whiff. Maybe we've whiffed it. We've whiffed it at least once, minimum. Minimum. I don't know how many times. Could equip the Lightbringer's Hammer here to kill both these minions. 
they... Uh, I don't know. That demon buffer is gone, right? Could have sworn it went back together. Oh, controlled golem is pretty cool. But it's no, it's no Sneeds, but this is pretty cool. It's <laughs> so no snades, time to concede. Yeah, I do really like playing the golem and buffing it up to a 4-7. Ooh, I didn't even realize Scrap Imp... I, can't move. I didn't even realize Scrap Imp was back in the meta. I haven't seen anybody play one. They play two. Well, the, uh, these hand buffs will go off at the same time, but the Libram of Justice could fight against that. Are you gonna clean that up? Not a large hand for the uh, entitled customer. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Apparently this card's really important and wild right now, but uh, I have not uh, really seen it in Arena. Quint, I think. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. We're back online. Now, we got, now we know how they got this far, possibly. But yeah, we're gonna probably get them pretty good with the Libram. So back line, just time to die, maybe. Ooh. I don't think we can get off this in border, though. They could try to do, like, no, no, I was going to say they could try to do, like, a Plague of Flames, but Plague of Flames is Savers of Old Doom, which was in the last meta, but not this meta. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I'm using the Libram here, actually. A real stinker. I don't know if I like that swing or not, but we're thinking about using the Libram. Alright, they have a spell that didn't start in their deck. They still have, yeah, some enlarged minions. Oh, wait, this one's not enlarged? Ooh, well. Well, well, well. They still gain the 8 armor, but... But I've got a 50-50 of playing a big anomaly this turn. But, you know... Yeah, so Mad says try a buff the one drop. I could. I could do that. But my issue with it is that uh, they have a discovered spell that didn't start on their deck, and it's a warrior spell, so I'm still kind of worried about getting brawled. I wouldn't want to buff the one mana minion and then get brawled. I'm actually going to make this a giant primordial drake. It says Demon Bolt in the meta. Nah, it's Rusticon's Rumble, so it was in the last meta, but not this one. Let's just drink up again. About done with this drink. Yeah, Hearthy's missing the Sabres of Doom already. Some fun cards in there for sure. And Reborn. Reborn's not a super interesting mechanic, but it works well in Arena. Glavis at nine wins. Very nice. Do you have an audience with the king? Alright, so there's the Libram now. Still not gonna be lethal, though. I must 
Come on and slay him. Reporting for duty. The battle! The battle! Alright, they have a discovered thing from Mage, Priest, or Warlock. They could have gotten a Death Knight. If they got the Death Knight uh, Warlock, they're going to resummon an 8-8 eight, eight, and 2-1-3 taunts, and we're going to lose, and I'm going to cry. But they didn't. <laughs> but they didn't, fortunately. Now, if we draw any golem parts here, they're going to die because I'm playing Primordial Drake. Yeah, two golems die. But we're going to shuffle two more golem parts in the deck. Oh, well, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> it's a DBZ, DBZ. Kilbasa was asking about 11-2. I am illegally required <laughs> to say... Will this deck, this champion of a deck, go 12 wins and make all my things where I'm saying diamonds not quite as good as people think look silly? <laughs> or will it be shattered, or, or will it be shattered in the rocks of three and banner will still be good? Find out next time. What? What? What happened? Thank you, milk for the follow. <laughs> Bye now, next time on Save Files 17. Uh, Alright. Gave me time to thank Milk for the follow, I appreciate it. Very occasionally we have the music cut out like that. Very occasionally, it doesn't happen too often. That's it. <laughs> Let's go for the spell, actually. Turn it up! Turn it up! Turn it up! I will fight with honor. Now you're sailing on my sea. Alright, there's the bannerman. Still gonna drop a tendon on one. I can drop cable red on two potentially, because I buff a lackey regardless. Lori, good to see you. Welcome back. Hope it's all good. We got this 11 win run. I don't know if we're stopping after this or if we're gonna do one more. I'm leaning towards stopping, but then again, I don't know. We got like five new follows in the last half hour. What well, if we do another run? We could be able to get more new people. Happy people we might see in the future. That was just in time. Plus, they share the living by drinking up? Nice. We got the double pack mule really early on. We can buff him with Bannerman. I cannot wait to read. Still gonna drop this attendant. Not sure if we're gonna coin Bannerman or if we're just gonna play Cable Rat. Uh, when they're dropping this, hmm, I th I think I think I'm still gonna play Cable Rat. Yeah, unfortunate. We're trying to draw minions. Okay, discover a dragon. Is Claw Machine in the meta? No, which is probably a great thing, because if Claw Machine was in the meta, then you could discover Sneeds and the Claw Machine off Deep Run. You'd, like, always get one of the best cards ever. <laughs> really? It's not too heavy. <sighs> I'm leaning Alex Straza. Very strongly leaning Alex Straza. We did have a Deathwing save us the other day. This. <laughs> this is Alex kills Sneeds. I'm hoping Alex can just kill their face, but we'll see where we end up. Okay, this is where we end up. We end up afraid. Very, very afraid. Ooh, don't love that. The sun has set for me. Hmm. 
Scary, scary. Scary, scary. So what happens if you evolve that 12 or even revolve? Um, you end up transforming into the same minion, right? But you do... Do you heal or not? I always forget if you heal. Oh, so you do heal, yeah. Oh dear. I love omelets. Immortality. Need to get a really good man the cannons, most likely. Uh, Laurie said, do you foresee any changes being made to Arena other than stopping dual class? Right now, specifically? Not really. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe... They'll... Hear and agree with people saying... Get Deep Run Engineer out of drafting. Because the Discover Sneeds is warping the meta too much. Maybe we'll see him say we're banned Deep Run from drafts, but... I'm not really predicting it. That's about the only thing I would think, though. Well, we can try to get Sneeds for next turn. Drop these. There's the Sneeds. Listen up, you lily so... <laughs> I don't know if the threaten looks <laughs> looks like a bluff <laughs> or <laughs> or that I did get it. Now, if they've got the Wind Fury minion, I'm just going to be dead right now, and the Sneeds is not going to matter. <laughs> Dude, with the eight months of subs, super, super appreciate. Just shy of the red badge. I appreciate it. I hope it's safe here with your support. I hope it is. I hope they don't have the Wind Fury minion. Dud, protect me from the Wind Fury minion. It's very rare to say, oh good, they just have a Vine Cleaver. Because Vine Cleaver is really strong, but... I am happy to see anything but the Wind Fury minion right now. To still try. They still played so strong, but you protected me from the Wind Fury. Okay. So. We're probably playing Sneeds, but we've got this spell damage man the cannons that we've got to think about. We go trade spell damage ba, 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 four five. Uh, I can actually clear with spell damage man the cannons. What does Sneed do? It also does really good, right? We hit there. We still hit here. Don't touch the egg. <laughs> See the land missiles hit coming. Oh, I may have made a. Small mistake here. No, no, we'll be okay. I was wondering if I wanted to trade this, but I guess I want to trade this here instead. Am I scared of the 1-1 one, one versus how much do I want to rush them with Alex Straza? I am scared of the 1-1. One, one. Actually, I don't want them to be able to register a buff here. It's like a dino size. Yeah, dino size. I'm just thinking about, you know, kings, but uh, dino size is 8 mana, and they're on 8 mana. I mean, did dino size guess yesterday? I think at some point it did. I don't know. Yesterday was a 17-hour stream. I can't remember everything that happened. I remember that one time Deathwing saved us. Rest of the stream is a blur. <laughs> Pound and secret. They eat a raptor. They play a sun gill. Ultimate specific hours, <laughs> yep. It was a big stream. Alright, so man the cannons does really good here. I'm glad there's no eye for an eye. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. This one goes there. Ah! 
They have dino size, they have lethal. Between this and this. Do I ever use the other man the cannons? Just to make sure they can't dino size. But it's gonna kill all these dormants. Eh. Alright. If they kill me with dino size, I say congratulations to them. I won't moan, I won't cry. I will salute the dino size. Fresh out of the oven. Do you have an audience with the king? I don't want to salute the lion guard though, that one annoys me. <laughs> Okay, so, if we use Libram, I could kill everything with Man the Cannons, but I kill my own Solarian. Um, I guess it's still for the best. I When I go face with the Libram, I set up for Alex Draza lethal. with Inquisitor, right? So... They would need... Inquisitor and Abusive Sergeant, specifically? I have things Actually, like a two-health suspect, really right? Oh, you're actually right. You're actually right about that. I didn't think about it. Yeah, Tall Boys is the same thing. I, I, I didn't think about that at all. He says, wait, who gave me a subscription? I, I, I don't know. We had, we had a lot of generosity yesterday. So I'm not sure who specifically did. Uh, it was Kodama. It was Kodama, right? At the end of yesterday's stream. Kodama gifted five subs as we were counting down a raid to Sherwood. All right. Dedicate that win to Tud. And to Kodama, too. Why not? <laughs> to Tud with Dave, what's the sub? As we get the 12 wins. The Bannerman worked. The Bannerman worked. Lyrical and Quint, both with the first time chat, GG. Which is win, the big win. Very sweet, very sweet. Let's take a look at what's inside and... Eh. It's tempting to end on a high note, but... Let's do one more draft that'll go 0-3. Got a gold and tame beast number two. Great. Uh, if this comes up twice in a draft, I'll pretty much always take it. 